Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Libra. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for August. I do apologize for the delay, but, you know, I had to do it when little ears wasn't listening. <laughs> so, what do we have for Libra? What do we have for Libra? Well, at least I think she's not listening, but I know. I could be very wrong. <laughs> what do we have for Libra? March. The month of March is very prominent, so you could be dealing with the Pisces, you could be dealing with an Aries, or you're something to do with the month of March or spring. So, March is prominent. What do we have for Libra? Could be dealing with somebody that's born in March. That was upside down. What do we got? Oh, here we go. Oh, we got two. They came flying out. Past life connection. Interesting. New sexual partner. Thank God. Little girl's not listening. See, I'm smart. <laughs> yes, I am. Anyhow, uh, past life connection. There is a new sexual partner here for some of you. Maybe this is somebody that's coming into somebody else's life that you are dealing with. You know, it doesn't have to be for you. It could be for somebody that you are dealing with. just looked on the bottom a message is coming that you do not want to hear probably uh, what else do we got for Libra past life connection hmm. what do we have for Libra Judgment, judgment. So there could be a reconciliation here. I mean, this is def definitely could be a past life connection. Um, this is a past life connection. This is somebody from the past. This is this is. There could be a reconciliation here. Um, this is absolution. It is the end of things. It is a life changing decision. So we definitely have a life changing decision on the table here. Um, What do we have for Libra? King of Coins reversed. Interesting that that is reversed. Could also be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but this could be somebody that is a gold digger, that is money hungry, that is, you know, really looking for some sort of financial stability. Interesting. King of Pentacles reversed. There could be somebody here that holds individuals to unattainable standards. You know, this is somebody that um, only has one agenda. You know, or maybe two agendas, and those agend that agenda could be sex and money. Just saying. I mean, I have to be honest with you. There could even be some unfaithfulness here when you get the King of Pentacles reversed. Um, so I would say that, you know, maybe <sighs> there's a need for stability. There's a need to ground. Somebody needs to ground themselves. They need to be realistic. They need to be practical. There could be somebody that is coming into somebody's life that, you know, doesn't have good intentions. I just, I just got to be honest. And this is a karmic lesson. So who knows? And people, we connect with people from our past lives because our, our karmic debt hasn't been paid yet. Uh, that is a karmic debt right there. Karmic debt. Fun, fun. 
So far we have Pisces, Aries, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and Scorpio. Life-changing decision that is being made. What do we got? What do we have for Libra? Five of Gabriel. Oh my goodness. A challenge you can resolve. Withdraw from the drama of others. Have patience with yourself and those around you. So this is the five of wands. So there's some sort of conflict, drama. Maybe you just need to remove yourself from the situation. Don't get involved. If somebody else has made a decision that you don't agree with, just step back from it. Maybe it's some sort of karmic debt that needs to be paid from a past life. Have patience with yourself and those around you. So I really feel like something is happening that changes everything. <clears throat> what do we have for Libra? Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. So there's some sort of codependency. This is like the devil energy, right? There's a codependent situation here. I'm not sure if you're dealing with somebody that is more focused on money or their career or uh, everything but love because I, I don't see any love here. I see sex and, and money, but uh, that's what I see. I mean, this could be lust. It could be lust. There could even be somebody here that breaks the law that will do anything. I mean, the, the King of Pentacles in reverse can be illegal dealing. So, uh, hmm. there's definitely a challenge. You're going to be challenged with that five. Oh, I just cut the deck to the five of wands and we got it here. So, you got it twice. You are definitely going to be challenged. On the other side, we got the hermit. So the hermit is going within, taking a time out to reflect, to do some soul searching. Um, it's a period of enlightenment right now. Um, withdraw from the drama of others. Withdraw from the drama. That is a very clear message. Withdraw from the drama. Withdraw from the drama. So you, you, you're you going to have to withdraw from the drama. You know, maybe somebody has to learn some sort of lesson, you know, or you have to learn a lesson. You have to withdraw. You're going to be in a situation that brings conflict. That is the five of wands, okay? You may not like it, but you're going to be involved. Okay, we get those to come together. Indic addictions are affecting your romantic life. There could be some sort of addiction or obsession that is costing a lot of money as well. There could be a financial decrease here. There could be somebody that is taking advantage of somebody just for their money. Definitely could be some unfaithfulness. There's a master manipulator here. This is a liar, the thief. Uh, oh boy. Take a look at that shit. There's some karma here. Absolutely. Unaware. Lack of awareness. Somebody is completely unaware. They are unaware that this is a karmic debt. They are unaware. There's lies. There's deception. There's We have a master manipulator here. and Somebody is completely unaware of it because of lust. There's lust. They, they have mistaken lust for love. Oh my goodness gracious, there's a lack of awareness here. This is a lesson. The chariot is a card of movement, taking charge, facing challenges. Now this is, the, this is I mean, judgment is typically the end of a trial. It's a final verdict, right? It's a verdict. It's absolution. It is the end of things. Given another chance. Somebody's giving something a chance. I feel like they are completely unaware that this is a karmic situation um, because they're obsessed with it. Um, 
chariot. Chariot is facing challenges, taking a journey, going somewhere. Somebody's going somewhere. Hangman reversed. Beginning to see something. We have somebody here that will not ever change. And I feel like they were, this is somebody that is extremely stubborn that will never change. This person is stuck in their ways. They're very extremely egotistical. There's an egotistical individual that is very focused on money. Could be a father figure. I'm not sure. This is somebody that is, and it doesn't have to be a father. It could be a husband. It's a masculine energy, I think. I feel like this person is not going to change. I think that they are, there's some sort of obsession. There is an obsession here. It's like hanging on, hanging on. It feels like it's like totally unaware that it's time to move on, but can't move on because of the obsession. There could be an arrival as well. Somebody could be, there could be, they could be arriving. Three of Swords, begging for forgiveness, looking for forgiveness. We may have somebody here that, you know, may say that they have changed, but I don't feel like this person has changed. I feel like those are just words. It's a, we have a master manipulator here, somebody that is very skilled at manipulating, right? This is a trickster, a liar, a pathological liar. You know, uh, maybe this, but this is kind of in the past. So maybe this person lied in the past. They didn't take action in the past. We both, we had the past several times. I mean, this is the past. This is the past. This is a lack of awareness, but this is the truth. Somebody may have been unaware of the connection, or unaware of the truth. This is a lack of awareness. There's an arrival here looking for forgiveness, but that is in the future. The King of Coins reversed. I'm not sure this person is stable or secure or realistic or, you know, this is conflict. A challenge you can resolve. Withdraw from the drama of others. Have patience with yourself. You're going to have to take a time out and withdraw from something that is unhealthy. Oh my goodness gracious. Moving on from the past hurts. There's been a lot of pain. There's been a lot of suffering. I feel like maybe maybe you have to be open-minded. You know, that's that's easier said than done, huh? Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Wow. Page of Cups reverse. Page of Cups reverse is tears, sadness, rejection, unrequited love. Somebody is hanging on to an unrequited love situation. It's a one-sided situation. It's like they haven't healed from their pain. They're not being practical. They're not being realistic. Two of Pentacles reversed. This is a need to reprioritize. Somebody needs to reprioritize. They need to make a choice. They need to think. That, and I say that because I'm back to the hermit now. They need to think about their options. They need to think about the games that are being played. I think that we have a player here. I do. I think that there is a player involved here. This is somebody that is a juggler. You know, likes to play. Likes to have more than one option on the table at all times. I feel like we have somebody here that is over committed to an individual that is emotionally unavailable. There is some sort of sadness here, unfortunately. I feel like there's an unfortunate loss of some sort, um, but it's hard to let it go. It's really, 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 really hard to let it go. There could even be some financial chaos in the near future. There's somebody coming around you that is financially unstable. I feel like this person, maybe they've been in an unrequited love situation or something like that. They, they Maybe they need some help. There's financial loss here. There is some sort of financial loss. And there's emotional loss as well. There's sadness. I feel like I feel like there's some sort of obsession and because codependency is an obsession. There's an obsession that is getting in the way of your romantic life. Mm. Refusing to move on. Somebody is refusing to move on. They're refusing to take a new approach. They have not learned their lesson. They have not learned their lesson yet. 
there's trouble there is some sort of trouble here You're unaware that this is trouble this is you are if there's somebody here that is unaware that they are in a situation that only brings them trouble really focused on the hurt the past struggling to let it go they need to let it go to have balance We have emotional imbalance here as well. I feel like your emotions are going to be all over the place. You may be, you may struggle to master your emotions during this time. Damn. This is unaware. This is a total lack of awareness. Going backwards. I don't know if somebody's going backwards or they're stuck. Somebody is coming in. I feel like there's an arrival here that causes emotional chaos or emotional disruption or something like that. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. There is drama. There is conflict. There's going to be some conflict. Nine, seven of Wands reversed. Seven of Wands reversed is quitting, stepping down. Walk away. Walk away from this. This is trouble. Best thing for you to do is to walk away. And I feel like you may want to fight. You may want to fight for this, but I think that you're. I think that the best thing for you to, is to to give up on it and walk away. Don't engage. My knees just came flying out. Page of Swords reversed, High Priestess, and the Eight of Wands. So the Page of Swords reversed is an enemy, right? It's an enemy at the gate. It's an enemy disguised as a friend. It's bad news. It's a message is coming that you do not want to hear. Okay? It could be, even be an arrival. So there's something coming. It's, this is somebody that's probably untrustworthy. You may know. You may know this, okay? The High Priestess is, is somebody that is very intuitive, very reflective, very observant, very spiritual, knows things. I feel like you are, you may be highly aware that this is uh, not stable or it's not secure or you, that there's a liar, that this person is untrustworthy or something like that. Your intuition may be speaking to you. I mean, there, there may even be somebody here that does not have good intentions at all. This is somebody that is very good at lying and manipulating. And I feel like, I feel like there's definitely going to be some sort of attraction to it because we have this, you know, somebody's attracted to it. Anyhow, the eight of wands reverse is no, it's, it's, um, not going anywhere. Um, lack of intimacy coming to a halt. This is not going to go, it's not going to be successful. You may know that something isn't going to be successful. Um, this is bad news. You may know that this is bad news. This is bad news. This is bad news. There is. There could be some news coming. It may not be good news. It may have something to do with a child. Just saying. Um... Eight of Wands reverse, going downhill, coming to a halt. No, this isn't going to work out. You may know this isn't going to work out, but you're going to need to listen to your intuition. Something, you're, a message is coming that you do not want to hear, okay? Um, you may have known this was coming anyway. You may have known that this was coming. But then I have this lack of awareness. Somebody here is completely unaware of the truth. They're completely unaware. They can't see it. They can't see it. But there's at least one person here that can see it. This high priestess. This is like a tarot reader, a medium, you know, an empath. Or somebody that is just very intuitive that knows something. 
a final decision will be made with that judgment card. A decision is going to be made from the intuition. Somebody's going to, and that's the advice. Listen to your intuition. A message is coming that you do not want to hear, okay? Um, you may have to put something to a halt. It's interesting because we have stop and go, stop and go, stop and go. Maybe that's what needs to come to a halt. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. There's going to be a conflict. This is a power struggle. The hangman is a power struggle as well, especially in reverse. You have somebody here that is really struggling to let go of something that they are hanging on to. There's going to be something that happens with this two of wands that changes everything. And it's going to cause, I want to say chaos or conflict or drama. Okay? What do we have for Libra? What a mess, huh? That's too many. That's like a pile. It seems like a mess. There was, there, this is a karmic debt. It's a past life connection. But somebody is so obsessed with hanging on to it that it's costing them. It's costing them. It's cost, cost, the thing that it's costing them the most is strife because of that five of wands. It's causing so much strife when there's a need to stop and let it go. You just need to let it go. Don't fight, don't fight. And I say that, don't fight for it. And I say that, don't fight about it. The seven of wands reverse, just as just walk away from it. Just step away, step down, walk away, give up on it, let it go. So I think that you're gonna be put in a position where you need to let something go. Maybe somebody has a lesson to learn. Two of Cups. This has to do with a partnership, a union for sure. We have two people that are meant to be at this time because it's part of their karmic lesson. And you may have to just walk away from it and let it go. That's exactly what this is. I feel like, you know, you're going to be stressed out. You may be worried. You may be anxious. You may be fearful. You know, this is like, oh my God, why is this happening? It's happening because it's part of the karmic debt. It's, I, feel like, I feel like you need to not engage... But I think it's going to be emotional. I think you're going to be in your feelings about, you know, whatever this partnership is. I just cut it to the Ace of Pentacles. Reverse. This is a loss, right? It's a sudden loss. It's an un it's a unpredictable loss. Unplanned. Instability. Insecurity. Not practical. Unrealistic. So there could be an unplanned loss here. Um, Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Looks like this Queen of Pentacles, she's very solid. She's stable. She's grounded. She's down to earth. She knows her value. Somebody's giving their, giving something to a partnership, giving their, what they have, nurturing a partnership. So you, you're dealing with somebody that is nurturing a partnership. You may not like it. Feels like you have a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. I feel like you're really going to be in your feelings about this. Somebody may also be giving their money to a partner. Maybe this partner doesn't love them. Giving their money to a partner that doesn't love them. That's sad. It is sad. It is sad. I mean, damn. You have to let it go. So, you know, I don't... I, I, I feel like you need to be very careful. I think that you need to remove yourself from the situation and just step back. 
I just one didn't was not picked up. I got to take it. Five of Pentacles reverse. This could be a financial loss. It could be a financial loss. Um, but I do believe that we will have a turning point at the end. And we may have somebody here that, you know, reflects on their value and makes a choice to uh, let go. We may. I mean, we may. Maybe it's you. Good luck.